In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to make a copy of a Google Doc. So, if you have a Google Doc in Google Docs, and you want to make a copy of that Google Doc, so that you'll have two identical copies of the same document, in this video, Timmy's going to show you how that's done. So, when you're in your Google Doc, and you've got it open right here, all you need to do is click on File up here, and then come down and click Make a Copy. And now it'll bring up this box with a few options. So the first option is the name. So by default, because the original document was called Example Document, it will be naming the copy, Copy of Example Document. So that's probably pretty good, but if you were hoping to name it something else, you could just change that here. So Timmy might delete Copy of, and make it example document number two, or something like that. And you could type whatever you want in here. And the next option is the folder of Google Drive that you want the doc to be in. So if the original Google Doc was just in my drive, which is the default location for Google Docs to be, then you'll see here it's set to my drive. But if your original Google Doc was in a different folder of Google Drive, it would say that folder here. And you can have the two copies saved in the same folder if you like, but if you want this copy to be in a different folder, you could just click My Drive here, and now it'll bring up Google Drive. So if you double click on My Drive to go inside My Drive, you could double click on Example Folder to go inside Example Folder, and now, if you click select to select this folder, that would save the new copy document inside example folder, but the original would still be inside my drive. So, Timmy will do that, and now the copy will be saved in example folder. And now there's just two other boxes to check. So, the one that says share with the same people, that just means if you had the Google Doc shared with people, and Timmy shows you how to share Google Docs with people in other videos, but if you had shared a Google Doc with someone, you could tick this box, and then the copied Google Doc would automatically be shared with that person or those other people. But if you don't want to share the Google Doc with other people, and you want the new copy to be just for you, and the original to be shared with people, or perhaps you don't, haven't shared either of them with people and you just want it to all be private, you can leave that box unticked and that'll be fine. And you can also choose to copy comments and suggestions. So if you or anyone else has left a comment or a suggestion on this Google Doc, you could have those copied across to the new document. So if you have those and you want them copied across, you might want to tick that box. And if you tick this box, it will mean the share it with the same people box has to be ticked because if someone you shared it with left a comment, they'll have to be shared to the new document. So you will have to consider that. But because Timmy's never shared this document with anyone and Timmy doesn't have any comments, Timmy's going to untick both of these and leave it like that. And now you're ready to make a copy. So. If you just click make a copy, it will now make a copy of your Google Doc, and the new copy will be opened up in this new tab here. So as you can see, we have example document number two in this tab here, and all the content inside it is exactly the same. And if we go back to example document, we still have example document here, and all that content is the same. And now they're just two completely separate Google Docs. So if you were to make all the text in the original document bright red or something like that, when you go back to the copied document, nothing will have changed. And if you were to make this text all highlighted in green or something like that, when you go back to this document, the green highlight will not be there. So now you can do whatever you want to either of these two documents and they will just be like two separate Google Docs. So that's really cool and that's all there is to making a copy of a Google Doc on the Google Docs website on your computer. But 
If you want to make a copy of a Google Doc in the Google Docs app on a phone or tablet, the process is a little bit different. When you're in the Google Docs app, if you've got the Google Doc here that you want to make a copy of, you just need to tap the three dots that's in the bottom right hand corner below the document like that. And now in this menu here, just tap make a copy. And now just like making a copy on the website, you'll be able to change the name. So you might want to make it be copy of example document or something like that. And you can also choose the location you want it to be in. So by default, it'll make the copy in the same Google Drive folder the original document was in, which in this case is my drive because that's the normal folder for it. But if you wanted your copied document to be in a different folder, you could tap on that and now just choose a different folder. So if you wanted to put it in example folder, you would just put it here and then tap select down here to select this folder. But Timmy's going to leave it set to my drive. So Timmy will just go back to my drive here and tap select. And now that folder is selected. And now you just need to tap okay. And it will make a copy of your document. And now it will open up this copy of your Google doc right here. And you'll see it's called copy of example document and everything is just the same as the original. And if you go back here, you now have the original example document and the copied one, just like when you do it on the computer. So that's really cool. And hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you did, please click on the thumbs up button down below and Tamil will see you in the next video.